This NFT allowed me to go to EDC Las Vegas pretty much for free. And the best part about it is that this NFT actually gave me Skydeck VIP access. Think about a festival ticket, okay, right? You have general admission and then you have VIP, which stands for very important person. But then there's one step even further than VIP, and this was new to me until recently, and that's called the Skydeck VIP. It's a new VIP experience that's been in festivals in Asia and Europe for a while, but is now coming to America for the first time recently. And to be honest with you, the name is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. These are sky decks that are set up at music festivals. They're big VIP platforms that are anywhere from five to 10 feet above the rest of the general admission and even the VIP areas. So if you're on the ground at a festival and you have that five to 10 foot stage view above everyone else, it's an insanely good view at any stage that you're watching. So you can see the artist that's playing, you can see all the visuals going on, and you can even hear the sound a bit better because there's not people crowding around you. Now, on top of the fact that I got a full Skydeck VIP experience, we actually got shuttle serviced into the festival through an exclusive entrance, and then we got expedited Skydeck entry and exit later on. And if that wasn't crazy enough for you, we also got full bottle service with our own table and our own set of couches with essentially unlimited alcohol for the entire Saturday of Electric Daisy Carnival. I'm not kidding. The bill for this table would normally be tens of thousands of dollars. Look at the menu right here. Some of these bottles cost up to $50,000. Not to mention it costs money to book the table itself and then it's an additional $1,500 per person just to add your group to the table. Look, that was a lot that I threw at you really quick right there. And at this point, you're probably thinking exactly what I did initially. This is just too good to be true. It sounds ridiculous and there's gotta be some catch here. And to be honest with you, to a certain degree, it really is that good. But let me show you all about this NFT, which is called Friends in High Places. And it's a pretty fitting name in my opinion. I'm gonna show you guys the whole experience that I had at EDC with this NFT, but before I do that, I wanna tell you quickly about the project so you can understand what it's all about. Friends in High Places is a place where you can casually meet and hang out or share a drink with other Web3 advocates and or whales. This includes top professionals in many different industries like tech moguls, Wall Street millionaires, and of course, DJs and celebrities as well. The two founders behind the product are Kave and Ash, and these guys are awesome. I met them first on Discord, and then I was able to drive out to Beyond Wonderland a few months ago and link up with them in real life. And after getting a chance to talk to them at the event for a few hours, I quickly realized that these are awesome dudes that are smart, hardworking, and have a great idea. This is an idea that could quite literally change the music festival industry with NFTs. Now I recognize that's a pretty bold statement, but let me explain. Kave and Ash own and operate an entertainment consulting company that is contracted with Ultra and Insomniac to service some of the biggest festivals across the globe. And for context, that's a minimum of six large scale events every year. Some examples of those are EDC Las Vegas, Ultra Miami, Tomorrowland, and a bunch more. So the important part here is that they have the ability to directly service this NFT group with their Skydeck VIP experience. So how exactly does this work? Well, right now they are still open for Mint on their Genesis collection, which has a total of 99 NFTs. And you are probably like, wow, they didn't mint out right away, why not? And that's because truthfully, nobody really knows about the project. And there's only 99 of these Genesis NFTs. I mean, that's a very small supply. Each one of these NFTs acts as a pass to every single festival in their yearly catalog. For context, that's usually between 10 and 12 festivals per year that are located all over the world. And the mint price of this NFT is currently one Ethereum, which as of today is around $1,700 or $1,800. And so I know what you're gonna say already, nah, it's not really free if it costs one ETH. Well, you're right, but let me break it down for you. It's one ETH, one time. So as of today, that's about $1,700 or $1,800 one time. Once you go to just two festivals, you would already be exceeding the cost of buying VIP tickets to each event normally. And then every single festival and VIP experience after that 
is completely free. Not to mention that the amount of alcohol and shuttle service you'll get adds up to thousands of dollars of savings on the first festival you go to. Now, it's important to note that each festival is just one night of this insane VIP Skydeck experience. So if you want to go to all three days of a festival or all two days of the festival, you'll need to buy a ticket still. But after going to EDC Vegas, I can say with high confidence that one night of the VIP table experience was plenty for me. Trust me. And if this doesn't excite you enough, then I have something else that's gonna blow your mind even more. Each Genesis NFT allows you to bring a plus one to every single festival as well. So you're basically doubling all of the costs you'd normally have to pay, and you're paying zero extra for it. Not to mention, there's always the option to resell your NFT as your pass on the secondary market if you no longer wish to use it. But I don't want to use that as an excuse for the reason to buy it, right? You never want to buy something expecting that selling it is going to be your way out. The truth of it is, if you are a big music fan or you love to go to festivals, or even if you want to just go to one festival one time and have a crazy experience, this is the best way you're ever going to be able to do it. The value of it, especially right now with Ethereum being as low as it is, and the cost of minting one still being one Ethereum, you're not gonna find this deal anywhere else. But okay, I get it, we know it's a good deal. But let me just walk you through some of the footage that I took that night at EDC, so you can see for yourself what the experience is actually like. To start off, I didn't actually get any footage of us on the shuttle to the event because I was too busy talking to the 25 other Genesis NFT holders that also got this experience with me. As of right now, there's only about 50 NFTs minted of the 99, which means there's somewhere between 40 and 50 NFTs left. But it was a big surprise to me that half, 25 of the holders actually showed up to the EDC event and had an amazing experience. What I found out is that a lot of them are already big festival and music fans, and they can see the obvious value in owning the NFT because of how much it usually costs to go to one of these events in that VIP experience. But the other people in the group are NFT G-Gens who just quickly realized how incredible this project really is. And that, that includes myself. So after getting shuttled right into the event, keep in mind that this event EDC is at a racetrack. So it just so happens that we got shuttled in where other people had to walk in. And the walk is not a short walk. So getting that shuttle through a private entrance is kind of a big deal. But then as soon as we got shuttled in, we got checked into our table at this private Skydeck entrance behind one of the stages, which is called Neon Garden. This is a pretty much one-on-one -on -one experience when you are checking in, as opposed to normal festivals where you're in a massive line with hundreds of people going through scanners and going through bag checks. But for the Skydeck entrance, it was just us, and we had to talk to just one person. It was super seamless, very easy to do, and not stressful whatsoever. After that, we made our way over to the Skydeck VIP area, which is literally right behind the DJ on this stage. So you can genuinely hang a couple feet away from whoever is playing the set at that moment. And as you can see right here, our table actually looks out into the crowd from behind the speakers and off to the right of the DJ booth, which is, again, just a wild experience. Soon after establishing ourselves at our table, we had our bottle service and... This was the whole presentation and everything. And you know what happens after the alcohol comes out. It's time for some shots. So after hanging at our table for a bit and drinking, chatting, getting to know one another, we made our way out into the rest of the festival and I particularly headed over to the main stage. You can see in the shot right here how much higher I am than everyone else in the crowd. This is actually one of the regular VIP decks at the main stage. For us bougie folk who have the Friends in High Places NFT, we were able to go over to the other VIP deck, which is the Marquee Main Stage Sky Deck. And when I tell you these Sky Deck sections are the creme de la creme, they really are the best of the best at each of these festivals. They have a massive Sky Deck set up, they have a full service bar, charging tables, and a ton of couches with bottle service. A single shot here costs $45, which is truly ludicrous, but it's a good thing we have full bottle service with our NFT, so we didn't have to pay for those shots. 
After hanging out on main stage Skydeck for a little bit, we shifted over to Circuit Grounds, which is the second biggest stage at EDC. So now you know that it's not just one Skydeck experience at these festivals. There's three Skydecks at EDC Vegas. On this particular Skydeck, you can see we're located to the left of the DJ booth, but this stage is absolutely huge. It's like a giant U. So we're over here on the front left, right to the side of the DJ. Again, one of the best views in the house. And that's because we're all the way up front and we're eight feet above the ground, including the regular VIP crowd. Quick side note real quick. This was my first ever EDC Vegas, and I gotta say, they go incredibly hard here. There are easily 15 to 20 total stages, and the show that they put on is absolutely top notch. I mean, look at this video of these dancers doing trampoline acrobats mid set next to 20 foot high pyro blasts. Also, they had fireworks, one of the biggest displays of fireworks that I've ever seen. And believe me, I've seen some gnarly fireworks in my life. This is one of the very first NFT IRL events I actually got to go and attend and experience. And I gotta say, it was amazing. I'm thrilled to be part of this Genesis collection. This group of people is already becoming friends and the value attached to this pass is absolutely next level. So if you're into music festivals, I highly recommend checking out the Friends in High Places NFT. There are only about 40 Genesis NFTs left. Obviously, I own one of them. And if you join the group, I'll likely see you at the next US-based festival event. I gotta give a quick shout to Kave and Ash for showing me an amazing time at the Beyond Wonderland event and then inviting me back to EDC. If you guys wanna check out their website for minting, their Twitter and their Discord and all that good stuff's in the link down below. In this video, I didn't even get to go over this too much, but the team's ultimate goal for the project is that this is a proof of concept that the NFT ticketing system works and that there's a lot that could be implemented into Ultra or Insomniac events if they adopt this technology. A little alpha for you, Kave and the team already have a patent pending for this NFT ticketing technology. So to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes even further than just an incredibly valuable NFT pass for us Genesis holders.